This, at first glance, is just a smartphone. But once you know what's inside, it becomes clear it's so much more than that. Indeed, the United States attempted to hinder China's advancement in the semiconductor industry through sanctions. But these efforts ultimately backfired. The world was taken aback when Huawei and SMIC unveiled the Mate 60 Pro featuring an advanced 7nm chip. Prior to this, analysts believed SMIC could only produce 14nm chips and would need years to progress to newer generations. This development signifies the failure of U.S. attempts to curb China's technological growth. Not only has SMIC successfully mass-produced 7nm chips, but they're also nearing the shipment of 5 nanometers chips. In this video, we'll delve into how U.S. sanctions on China fell short and how China responded to Joe Biden's export controls. U.S. export controls on China have failed. In 2023, the U.S. government enacted an executive order to restrict the export of advanced semiconductor manufacturing equipment and technologies to China. This move, through strict export controls, aimed to hinder China's access to vital components. The rationale behind this action stems from the pivotal role of semiconductor chips in modern technology. These chips, renowned for their versatility and functionality, power a diverse array of electronic devices, ranging from smartphones and computers to vehicles and medical equipment. The U.S.'s objective was twofold, to safeguard its technological supremacy and address security concerns by implementing export controls and investment restrictions across strategic sectors. The overarching goal was to create hurdles for Chinese companies like Hisilicon and SMIC as they pursued self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing. Additionally, the U.S. urged its allies to unite in excluding chip exports to China, leading to significant repercussions such as ASML, a prominent Dutch designer, ceasing shipments of its cutting-edge chips to China in compliance with U.S. policy. Furthermore, the U.S. has implemented measures to restrict the movement of talent to China's semiconductor industry. These regulations were prompted by the observation that even highly experienced individuals, considered godfathers of semiconductor manufacturing in Japan, Korea and Taiwan, have transitioned to working for Chinese chipmakers. This migration of talent has raised concerns about the transfer of valuable knowledge and industry connections. The growing awareness of the need for additional semiconductor talent within the U.S. has intensified efforts to prevent the outflow of American expertise. Additionally, the U.S. government has taken direct action against China's leading companies, including Huawei and SMIC. This includes the prohibition of equipment sales and imports from Huawei starting in 2019, as well as the imposition of sanctions on SMIC beginning in 2020. In response to these restrictions, China has actively pursued technological self-sufficiency as a key aspect of its dual circulation strategy. This strategy is designed to decrease dependence on foreign technologies and mitigate risks associated with disruptions in global supply chains. China has made significant investments in domestic research and development with ambitious goals of leading in sectors such as 5G and artificial intelligence. This signals a notable shift towards homegrown innovation, partly influenced by U.S. policies and the need to secure technological independence. According to a Bloomberg report citing official Chinese customs data, the import value of equipment used in computer chip production surged by 14% in 2023, reaching nearly $40 billion. This represents the second highest import value recorded since 2015, highlighting Chinese semiconductor companies' rapid investment in new fabrication facilities. These efforts are aimed at enhancing capabilities and finding ways to navigate around export controls imposed by the United States and its allies. In 2023, 
prior to the enforcement of new export restrictions, China witnessed a significant surge in the import of semiconductor equipment from the Netherlands. As companies hurried to complete purchases before the implementation of stricter measures in the Netherlands, the import value of photolithography equipment from the country skyrocketed in December 2023. According to IG Wei's report, this surge amounted to an almost 1,000% year-on-year increase, reaching USD 1.1 billion. This pattern illustrates that before Washington's export controls took effect, Chinese entities engaged in a buying frenzy, acquiring both chips and chip manufacturing equipment from ASML and other sources. Fast forward two years, and China has made notable strides in independently producing advanced chips. This outcome underscores the perceived failure of U.S. sanctions and export controls targeting China. Will China dominate the global semiconductor market? In August 2023, approximately a year after the implementation of U.S. export controls, Huawei quietly unveiled its latest phone, the Mate 60 Pro, coinciding with U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo's visit to Beijing and Shanghai. Despite its low-key debut, the Mate 60 Pro quickly captured the spotlight in American media the following week. A comprehensive teardown of the phone revealed that it ran on a Kirin 9000 SE semiconductor chip produced in China by CMIC. This revelation underscored China's ability to manufacture 7 nanometer chips despite U.S. restrictions, potentially at a large scale. Huawei's breakthrough in chip production for the Mate 60 Pro marks a pivotal moment in the technological competition between the United States and China. Rather than hindering China's tech industry, U.S.-led export controls seem to have spurred growth in China's domestic capabilities. As a result, China now appears to be on the verge of achieving parity with advanced U.S. technologies. The U.S. efforts to curb China's advancements in advanced chip production have proven ineffective. Meanwhile, China has intensified its investments in achieving chip self-sufficiency in response to U.S. restrictions, posing a new challenge for the U.S. and its allies. Legacy chips, found in a wide array of products from household appliances to medical devices, may lack the cutting-edge power of state-of-the-art semiconductors fueling AI platforms. However, they've become a mounting concern for both the United States and the European Union due to China's dominance in the market. Washington has taken measures to block Chinese companies from accessing advanced Western-designed chips, hoping to slow down Beijing's aspirations of tech supremacy. Now, the focus has shifted to what are known as legacy chips, with China currently controlling nearly a third of global manufacturing capacity in this category. The worry is that if China floods the market with subsidized legacy chips, Western chipmakers could find themselves quickly priced out. This concern mirrors what occurred in the solar industry, where China's mass production of cheaper solar panels flooded the market and led to the closure of many Western companies. Over the next three years, China's share of the legacy chip market is projected to grow to 39%, partly due to U.S. export restrictions. China has responded by increasing subsidies in the chip industry. Adding to this, India is also entering the fray, potentially exacerbating overcapacity in the chip supply chain. Indian conglomerate Tata Group, for instance, is investing a significant $11 billion in constructing its own chip foundry in Dolera, Gujarat. So, will China eventually dominate the semiconductor industry? Well, share your thoughts and leave your comments below. If you like what you have watched, hit the like button to show your support. More importantly, subscribe to our channel so that you will receive more interesting videos just like this one.